Top secret, brand new Bear Archery prototype recurve I've been working with the guys from Bear Archery on. Pretty excited about it. We've made some tweaks. You can see we radius the shelf. Well, we're playing with the side plate. Um, we've changed the riser here. Of course, we took a lot of the weight um, and changed the riser here. And this one's really more designed to be shot without a handle than anything. So it's kind of in flux right now. We're constantly making a few changes to it. You know, one of the things I'm doing is I'm working with talcum powder, baby powder, and shooting, and seeing where I'm getting contact with my feathers. Um, Twisting knocks and doing all kinds of things just to help that arrow come off perfectly. So then we came to this prototype. Um, again, it's getting closer and closer. Um, we had the original single set screw for the side plate so you can move the side plate in and out. But what I wanted to change is I wanted to lock that down in one position. Um, I also didn't like as much flex on the plate, but I wanted people to be able to have that option if they wanted. So we added two set screws to the back of the riser here. So you could make adjustments on that plate and you could either pull them in and make them more flexible, less flexible, but you could also use that to get center shot. We also changed the design. So you can see here on the shelf, we took and beveled the shelf so there's less surface area on the arrow, less contact there. So there's been a lot of tweaks um, in this riser with some of the changes that we've made uh, to make it easier to tune and just better to shoot and a little bit more comfortable feel. So I, I made some changes in this bow that I really wanted to make, but now I'm going through and testing it. So not only have each of these prototypes gone through a lot of testing, um, but we just ran another prototype and I'm going to shoot it through paper. Well, I've been working a lot with not only the engineers of Bear Archery every time we have a prototype and test it, but then also with the president of Bear Archery who has a lot of experience in bows and design and hunting as well. So it's been kind of a really fun project for all of us. But as I'm adjusting it, we're going to go ahead and take a shot here through paper. And this is what I'm, this is what I'm working on is trying to get a bow that's just easier to tune and shoots better. And even though you can shoot any archery tournament or targets you want, my whole design is around a hunting bow. Now, if you look at that, that is almost a perfect bullet hole through paper. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. A lot of people, if they shoot their arrow through paper, don't have a bow that's perfectly tuned. Now, a lot of that has to do with tuning, and that means adjusting your, you know, everything from your brace height, uh, your knock set, your field point, the arrow spine, but a lot has to do with the bow and having less contact on the arrow. So again, you can see here, because of that beveled shelf, we have very little contact on the arrow. Because of the shortened shelf, so we've taken this shelf and brought it in closer. So we've taken this shelf closer to the riser, or I guess you would say shorten up the shelf. So it gives you even more feather clearance. So sometime during, along this process, I've stopped a few times to show people some of the things that I've been working on to try and make this the perfect hunting bow. So when I grab it, or when you grab it, but to be honest, I designed it for me, but when you grab it, it's gonna feel the same, shoot the same, because I want it to be that go-to hunting bow and shooting bow. But I'm up here with the guys from Alaskan Trackers, and uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get a brown bear and maybe a black bear with it. Well, this is a prototype that I'm testing out a lot like Fred Bear would take his prototypes out and test them out in the field. So I'm testing this prototype that I've been working on with the guys from Bear Archery, and I'm excited about some of the tweaks we've made. We've changed the shelf, I've changed the riser, we've made a couple different changes. Still has Fred Bear's original latch system, but we've made some tweaks to this bow that I am super excited about. You know what's amazing? It doesn't matter how good you shoot on targets, I know that when the adrenaline rush is there, I'm probably not gonna be as pinpoint accurate. So, 
practice helps me not only calm down, but get confidence in my shooting. So sometimes I like to practice at long ranges, way longer than I'll actually be hunting at, just so I can make sure I've got a good release, good form, and that I'm shooting well. So when I get a close shot, well, it's gonna make it even easier. I think we should go take a look at those two shots at 52 yards with my bare prototype recurve and see where they hit. Fifty-two yards, and uh, just playing around, doing a little practicing. So, uh, Luke's dad said, "Would well, you want to get real close here, take a shot or two? I said, "No, let's get back a little bit and shoot." So, I got one, the broadhead, whoo, right through the bullseye there, and the judo point I just shot. Oh, come on, baby! There's that one. The judo was a little low, but I'll take it.